I'm Thomas Mitchell. I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing in these surroundings at Christmas time, this unbaked courtyard in the Latin American village. No falling snow to give us the traditional white Christmas. No jingle bells or holly wreaths. No mistletoe or evergreens. But the Christmas spirit is here, just as much as it is in your hometown. Because Christmas is more than festive trappings and familiar symbols. Its realm is the human heart. It's a spirit that isn't confined to just one place. It belongs everywhere. So, we'd like to tell you a unique story of Christmas spirit that took place not in our own land, but in a Latin American village like this. It's a warm story about a custom that happens every year to people like these. Our story, Three Young Kings, begins here with this little girl. If you have been good, and if you pray, the three kings may bring you gifts today. Yes, yes, it would only take a few minutes. Sit down, boys, sit down. Children, tomorrow is the 6th of January. Lazaro, do you know what this day commemorates? The 6th of January commemorates the arrival of the three kings in Bethlehem, bearing gifts for the newly born. Muy bien. For that reason, the school will be closed tomorrow. We shall celebrate. Last year, as all the years before, you received your Christmas presents, as is our tradition, from the hands of the three kings. Of course, you may have suspected that they were not really the three kings. But you did not know who actually were behind those uh, beautiful robes and turbans and beards and facial paint, huh? <laughs> the tradition of our town requires that we choose them from the three oldest in our school. This year, you are the three oldest boys. You, Eduardo, Ramoncito, and your name? Lazaro. Lazaro. Yes. <laughs> you will be the three kings. Now, this is the procedure. All the presents your schoolmates are to receive from their parents will be upstairs in the janitor's room. The presents for the girls would come from their school. Now, I want you to be here tomorrow before siesta time to load the burros and saddle the horse. With real saddles? Mm -hmm. Silver mounted. Holy saints. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Father. I forgive you because I take it as the beginning of a prayer to the Lord for letting you be his messenger of goodwill. Now, you three, Go to your homes, but remember, do not reveal your secret to anyone. It is your duty, my children, to keep the little one's faith in the three kings and in the divine miracles of the loving, giving human heart. And she's as big as a real baby, and it says if you are good and free lot, the three kings will bring her to you. It did not say for sure. No, but it did not say maybe, neither. Mother, have I been a good girl? Yes, my soul, you have. Then can I pray for the dog? Of course, my heart. But do not forget. The Lord rewards you in his own way and in his own time. But if I pray very, very hard? There are lots of children who pray, and only three kings. 
They may not have time to come to this part of town this year. Maybe next year, eh? If you go on to be good, one day they will come to you. With a big doll and a beautiful dress based on embroidery. This is for my little sister, Anna. I'll bet it's that doll she wanted. Not there. All our presents go into this basket. We all live on the same street. Put it in here. You know, it's funny. Soon I'll be a king and deliver presents myself. Then again, I'll be Ramoncito. But how can Ramoncito believe in the three wise men when he knows they are only three stupid boys? You're wrong, Ramoncito. You're not nearly what you think you are, but what others believe you to be. <laughs> the little ones, the innocents, they will believe that you are really the three kings. Perhaps their fate will make you believe it too, <laughs> a little. It's time, boys. The people are waiting for you in their homes. Now finish your packing, huh? Yes, Father. Father. Yes. Senor Montoro just bought this puppy. It is for his little son, Pedro. Oh, que bueno. Eduardo. Here, you take this dog and deliver it to the Montoros. Yes, father. He asked to remind you, boys, that he recently moved near to his factory mm. and the street of all saints. I know where it is, the street of the poor. I didn't know that. Yes, all the gifts have been accounted for, father. Oh, that's fine. Now, you finish your packing, eh? And then you go into the vestry, put your costumes on, and buy it from the old. Huh? Jose, you get the horses ready. Señor Perez, un poquito de vino. Muchas gracias, padre. Es usted muy amable. of Cardenas? Yes, si. it is. Are we permitted to enter and to bring our gifts for the child that was born? Yes, King. Welcome to Cardenas. Welcome to Cardenas. My name is Jose. I live at 22 Trinity Street. Senor Montoro's house in the street of All Saints and get rid of the puppy.
look at them. You would think they had never seen a three king. They haven't. The three kings never come to this neighborhood. Well, why not? Because the parents of these children cannot send packages to the school. That's why. Get it over with. There's a Montoro house. Hear me, hear me. Is this the house of Senores Montoro? I am Senor Montoro. May I ask who you gentlemen are? We are the three kings of the Orient. Does a young one by the name of Pedro live here? Yes, kings. This is Pedro Montoro. Has he been a good boy, senor? Indeed he has. Pedro Montoro, this is thy reward. <laughs> Will you kings enter my house for some refreshments? Thank you, senor, but we still have a great distance to travel. God be with you. Vaya con Dios. I don't like it here. Let's hurry back to town. We shouldn't have been sent here. Mistaken about this are. I just remembered. Her name is on the list, and I have her present. You can't do that. It is my little sister's doll. She has already five dolls. Is this what you have been praying for, Maria? Yeah. Then it is yours. Stop 
that, do you hear me? Perhaps I have something for you. Let me see. Here goes one of my little brother's presents. Little brother could have used that too. What are we going to do? I gave my brother's presents away. One of his presents. I can't stand this. I'm going to give away all my brothers and sisters' presents too. How about you? What are we waiting for? What are we going to do now? You think we ought to give them something too? How can we do that? We have already given our family's presents away. Just the same. Listen to them. They've never had anything. We can't help that. The poor are always with us. Jesus says so in the Bible. He says so to remind us to do something about them. That's what my mother says to me. I think your mother is right, Lazaro. Come on, let's do something about them. Whatever you say, Eduardo. You're the boss. I am not the boss. Whenever we get into trouble, you always say, I am the boss. We're all in this together, and don't forget. It will be a scandal. The biggest Cardenas has ever seen. But who cares? When you start working miracles, you can't stop. Come on, little ones, come on. to Montoro's first, they ought to be here by now. You can't trust the youth of today. I don't know about your children, Senor Alvarez, but I trust my Eduardo. My Ramoncito is a good boy. And so is my Lazar. Then where are they? Soon it will be dark, and we'll have to put our children to bed without a Christmas gift. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Are you waiting for the three kings, Benny John? Senor Montoro, do you know anything about them? Yes, Senor Alvarez. After they delivered the present to my little boy, they gave away the rest of the gifts to the poor children of All Saints Street. We have been robbed. Our innocent children have been robbed. Now, come, come, Senor Alvarez. Where are those bandits? I don't know. But looking at your face, I don't blame them for not being in a great hurry to get back. They are right. How right they are. I'll have them put in jail. I'll have them expelled from school right now. <laughs> Well? Well? Why did you do it? Why don't you say something? We didn't mean any harm. Oh, you didn't, did you? Breaking the little hearts of our beloved little ones. Damaging their innocent faith. And your pocketbook. They are thieves. They are embezzlers. Therefore, I demand that they be hanged by the neck until death. This is no joking matter, Paris. I demand that they be expelled from the Colegio. No, 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 no! Wait, wait. I think we can settle this without all this bitterness. Although I do not believe that my son, Eduardo, did anything maliciously, I am willing to pay for all the presents. I share the expenses. So will I. That's not enough. Then I have another offer for you, Alvarez. How would you and all the men in your family like to be kicking to the bay? That's my father. Domingo, I will not forget this insult. I am only trying to do what is fair. Thieves must be punished. Hm. What you want is revenge. Nothing else will satisfy you. 
We all agree to pay for the gift. It is not the loss of the money. It is the joy of our children. What good is money? It is late. The toy shop is closed. But I'm sure Senor Perez will open it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but unfortunately, I'm sold out. Mm. You see? You see what you have done? You, you, you monsters, you. Our children will have to go without Christmases while those street urchins. Senor Alvarez. Hmm. What is it? I have an idea that will solve our problem. Why don't we send these boys back to the street of all saints to collect all the presents they have so magnanimously given away? That's a very just and charitable idea. We are not going to do it. Good, Good boys. boys. You, you are incorrigible. For your atrocious and malicious behavior, you deserve the highest punishment. This is the first time in the history of Escuela Pia that a thing like this has ever happened. Ah, Senor Alvarez, there you have a point. Jose, see that everything is ready, eh? Yeah? Take my place, Father. That is not your place. It is mine, even though you forgot to invite me to this little discussion. <laughs> it was an oversight. It must have been. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, my boy. Uh, uh, first, I think we shall have to let the boys go, because it is almost five o'clock, and uh, they have another ceremony to perform. So, uh, excuse me, you will find Father Luis. Oh, he will tell you exactly what to do. And, uh, and, and now back to our scandal. Senor Alvarez here says that uh, what happened today had never happened before. And uh, I quite agree with him. For many, many years, on Three Kings Day, I have sent the three oldest boys of our school into town to deliver gifts. To, to their schoolmates. And uh, they have always distributed those gifts, as I told them, because they were very good boys. Not until today have any pupils ever disobeyed me. Father, there's a delegation from the Street of All Saints. They're waiting in the schoolyard. Ah, come, we shall meet them. Senora Diaz. We come to thank you, Father, and all the kind people for, for remembering our children on this day. We will never forget it. And our little ones, they have come too to thank the three kings, for in their great joy they, they forgot to do it. Un momentito, Senora Diaz, un momentito. Now, these three boys we were discussing, we, we must be fair with them. We must examine their misdeed very closely. Exactly what, we must ask ourselves, exactly what did they do? They took the rich gifts provided by the bounty of our beloved country and carried them to, to babes who sleep on straw pallets. Does this remind you of anything, senores y senores? José, estamos listos. Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. This is your answer, my friends. The little babes from the street of all saints, reminded our boys of another babe, swaddled in coarse cloth, who slept on, on straw in a manger. And with this in mind, we have to realize that these three boys were not good boys. 
Not just ordinary good boys. They were Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthasar, my friends. Indeed, in the generosity of their hearts, in, in the sweetness of their spirits, in the courage of their resolve to do right, they are indeed three young kings.